I'm very grateful to God and to all Nigerians for their prayers. I'm pleased to be back on home soil among my brothers for their prayers. I'm pleased to be back on home soil among my brothers and sisters. In the course of my stay in the United Kingdom, I have been kept in daily touch with events at home. Nigerians are robust and lively in discussing their affairs. But I was distressed to notice that some of the comments, especially in the social media, have crossed our national red lines by daring to question our collective existence as a nation. This is a step too far. In 2003, after a joint partisan politics, the late chief Emeka Ojuku came and stayed as my guest in my hometown, Daura. Over two days, we discussed in great depth till late into the night and analyze the problems of Nigeria. We both came to the conclusion that the country must remain one and united. Nigerian unity is settled and not negotiable. We shall not allow irresponsible elements to start trouble and when things get bad, they run away and settle others with the responsibility of bringing back order, if necessary, with their blood. Every Nigerian has the right to live and pursue his business anywhere in Nigeria without let or hindrance. I believe the very vast majority of Nigerians share this view. This is not to deny that there are legitimate concerns. Every group has a grievance. But the beauty and attraction of a federation is that it allows different groups to air their grievances and work out a mode of coexistence. The National Assembly and the National Council of States are the legitimate and appropriate bodies for national discourse. The national consensus is that it is better to live together than to live apart. Furthermore, I am charging the security agencies not to let the successes achieved in the last 18 months be a sign to relax. Terrorists and criminals must be fought and destroyed relentlessly so that the majority of us can live in peace and safety. Therefore, we are going to reinforce and reinvigorate the fight not only against the elements of Boko Haram, which are attempting a new series of attacks on soft targets, kidnappings, farmers versus hard men clashes, in addition to ethnic violence fueled by political mischief makers. We shall tackle them all. Finally, dear Nigerians, our collective interest now is to achieve petty differences and come together to face common challenges of economic security, political evolution and integration, as well as lasting peace among all Nigerians. I remain resolutely committed to ensuring that these goals are achieved and maintained. I am so glad to be home. Thank you, and God bless our dear nation.